हेलो गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इज सेज दैट अ पार्टिकल इज मूविंग विद द विलासिटी ऑफ वी नाट वेन एस इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ डी एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ दिस ए इक्वल्स टू माइनस के वी टू द पावर थ्री वेयर के इज कॉन्स्टेंट डिटर्मिन द विलासिटी एंड पोजिशन एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम so we are given that a particle is moving with the velocity of v not when s is equal to 0 so the velocity is equal to v not when s is equal to 0 and t equals to 0 and it is subjected to a d acceleration of a as a function of v is given so we are given that a is equal to minus k v to the power 3 and k is constant right So it is said that determine its velocity and position as a function of time. So we have to find the velocity as a function of time, and we have to find the distance, the position as a function of time. So now, as we know that uh, the acceleration is always equal to dv by dt. So from this equation, we can write that acceleration is dv by dt. And if we rearrange this equation, we can write that dv is equal to minus k v to the power three. dt so since we have dv on this side so we have to bring this v to the power 3 to this side so we will have the equation like this we will have 1 divided by v to the power 3 dv equals to minus k dt and 1 divided by v to the power 3 can be written as v to the power minus 3 so we can write that v to the power minus 3 dv is equal to minus k dt so to find v as a function of time we have to integrate both side of this equation so we need to integrate this since k is constant so when t equals to 0 the velocity is v not and we have to find the velocity at time t so this is we we have to integrate this from v equals to v not since at t the velocity is v and we have to integrate this from 0 to t So now, as we know that the integration of this will be, we have to add one to the power of this, so we can write that this will be v to the power minus three plus one divided by the same power. So minus three plus one is minus two, so we can write that this is minus two divided by minus two. So v to the power minus two divided by minus two, and this is from v naught to v, and this integration will be equal to minus k, and the integration of dt will be t. So this is from zero to t. So now, if I put these limits, so this will be if I put these limits in this equation and this equation, so we will have the equation like v to the power minus two divided by minus two minus v naught to the power minus two divided by minus two, and this will be equal to minus k t minus zero. So we can write that this is minus k t. And now, if I multiply this whole equation with minus two on both sides. So this minus two and this will cancel out and we will have minus two here. So we can write this equation as this will be v to the power minus two and v naught to the power minus two and this minus two into this minus will become plus two. So we can write this equation as plus two k t. This will be two k t. So now v square minus v uh, v to the power minus two minus v naught to the power minus two is equal to two k t. and from this we can write that v to the power minus 2 is equal to 2 kt plus v not to the power minus 2 and since we want to write v as a function of time so we need to write it as we need to take uh, both side of equation as a power of minus 1 divided by 2 so we we can write it like this as minus 1 divided by 2 so this will cancel out this will cancel out so you will be left with v And this will be equal to two k t plus v naught to the power minus two to the power minus one divided by two. So now this is this is v as a function of time which was required. Now we have to find s as a function of time. So we need to integrate this equation uh, once again to get that s of t. So now let me copy this equation. So now we have to integrate this since we know that uh, v is ds by dt. So I can write that now v is this is ds by dt. And if we rearrange this, so we will have the equation ds equals to 
2 kt plus v naught to the power minus 2 and minus 1 divided by 2 dt and we can we can write this is uh, now now before that we have to integrate this so we have to integrate this and this with this integration will be from 0 to t and when t equals to 0 s equals to 0 so we have to integrate this from 0 to s so now if we integrate this so this d and integration will cancel out so we will be left with s minus 0 and that will be equal to now if if i multiply this integrand with 2k if i multiply and divide by 2k so let me write it like this this is this is dt and if i multiply and divide with 2k so this 1 divided by 2k 1 divided by 2k can be written outside of integration so let me write it like this this will be 1 divided by 2k and we will be left with this now the derivative of this the derivative of this is 2k since we not to the power minus 2 this is constant so now we have f of x and we have its derivative so we can find the integration by adding 1 to the power of this so now we can write that this integ this integration will be 1 divided by 2k and this will be 2kt plus v naught to the power minus 2 and minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by the same power which is minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is plus 1 divided by 2 so we have to write this as plus 1 divided by 2 and similarly this is also equal to plus 1 divided by 2 so we have to write this as plus 1 divided by 2 or we can write this equation is 1 divided by 2k and we have to put those limits this is from 0 to t so now this 1 divided by 2 can be written if we if we bring this to the if, if we bring this 1 divided by 2 to the numerator so we will have 2 into 2kt plus v naught to the power minus 2 to the power plus 1 divided by 2 0 to t so now this this 2 and this 2 will cancel out so we will be left with 1 divided by k so this is 1 divided by k and this now now we need to put these limits we need to put this 0 and t limits so this will be s this s will be equals to 1 divided by k and then 2 k t plus v naught to the power minus 2 to the power 1 divided by 2 minus and then we have to put 0 in, instead of t we have to put 0 so this will be 2 k into 0 plus v naught to the power minus 2 divided by uh, to the power 1 divided by 2 so so we can write it as 1 divided by k 2 k t plus uh, this will be 1 divided by v naught square to the power 1 divided by 2 minus this will become 0 this is 2 k into 0 so this will be minus v naught to the power minus 2 to the power 1 divided by 2 and and now we can write this v naught to the power minus 2 can be written as 1 divided by v naught square so this is 1 divided by v naught square and now if we apply this 1 divided by 2 power to this one and this so v naught square will become v naught so we are left with at the end we, we will be left with this minus 1 divided by v naught so this is this is s as a function of time so so this is this is s as a function of time and this is v as a function of time so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning